Hi, fourth graders. This is Unit 8, Lesson 16. So now that we have finished our story, we're going to start looking back at certain sections, close reading, and we're also going to finish up our adventure story. So for your reading lesson today, we're going to read the last three paragraphs of Treasure Island and then answer some questions about it. Well, to make a long story short, we got a few new hands on board, made an enjoyable cruise home, and reached Bristol just as Mr. Blandley was beginning to think of sending the rescue boat. All five of us got a share of the treasure and used it wisely or foolishly according to our personalities. Captain Smollett retired, Ben Gunn got a thousand pounds, which he spent or lost in 19 days, for he was back begging on the 20th day. He is a great favorite, though, and is a notable singer in church on Sundays. Of silver we have heard no more. That formidab formidable man with one leg has at last gone clean out of my life. I dare say he met his wife and perhaps still lives in comfort with her and Captain Flint. I hope so, for I fear that his chances of comfort in the next world are very small. There is still more treasure hidden on that island, some silver bars and some weapons that Flint buried, but nothing could tempt me back there. The worst dreams I ever have are when I hear the waves booming or when I bolt straight upright in bed, the voice of Captain Flint ringing in my ears, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. We're also going to reread the first paragraph and we're going to compare them. So this was the very first paragraph of chapter one. Squire Trelawney, Dr. Livesey, and the other gentlemen have asked me to record the story of Treasure Island, keeping nothing back but the bearings because there is still treasure there. Therefore, I take up my pen and go back to the time when my family ran the Admiral Benbow Inn, and the old seaman with the saber cut on his cheek came to stay with us. So number one, it says, how does the end of the story circle back to the beginning? So I want you to look for similarities between the end of the story and what we were introduced to in the beginning of the story. So you can restate by saying the end of the story circles back to the beginning by blank. So what happens in the end that is referred to in the beginning of the story? Number two, what is the purpose of a conclusion? We talk about the conclusion is the ending of a story. So at the end of the story, which one of those would be its purpose? And then your last question is kind of an opinion question. What is left open-ended in Treasure Island? So at the end of the story, they kind of leave something unresolved. So what is the mystery that is still at the end of the story? What do the readers still not know for sure? That is it for reading, so let's head over to skills once you're done with that. And we are going to be planning our conclusion paragraph. So you're going to click the links below to find your introduction and your body paragraph. If you did not do those already, you have to do those first before you can write your conclusion. So you need your intro and you need your body paragraph. And then these are just to help you start thinking back about your story. So number one, where is your main character at the end of the story? So where are they? What's the setting at the end? How is the problem resolved? So think about the problem you created for your character in the body paragraph. How does that problem get solved in your conclusion? Number three, how does your conclusion tie back to your introduction? So we talked about how Treasure Island refers back to the beginning of the chapter in its conclusion. How will you do the same in your conclusion? How does your ending relate to your beginning. And then lastly, you're going to choose a memorable image or dialogue to end the story. So let's look to see how they ended Treasure Island. So they gave us a piece of dialogue, pieces of eight, pieces of eight. So you can do that, give a piece of dialogue, a character speaking. You can also give an image. So they also leave it off on the image of Jim still having nightmares about Treasure Island. So think about how you can turn that into an ending for your story. And that is it for today. So please make sure that you have done these correctly. Get on Zoom if you need any help. And I will see you all next time. Goodbye, Adams.